All right, on today's tutorial, we're going to make a MailChimp style pop-up button. So when you hover over it, it animates up into a 3D shape. Pretty cool stuff, pretty simple. This should be quick, so let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is write our text. All right, button text, 16 bold, that's perfect. Then we're going to hit Shift A put it in an auto layout. I'm going to add an eight pixel border and then we will fill it. We'll do yellow. Okay, looking pretty good. I'm actually going to bring that down to six. Then I'm going to add a stroke and I'm going to adjust my padding to maybe 20. Okay, pretty easy stuff. That is a simple button. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually call this button, gonna duplicate it, we're going to call this shadow. Now, you can, you'll notice, some of you may say, listen, you can just go in, add a drop shadow, you know, at 100% with zero blur, and that's kind of the same thing, and you're not wrong, it absolutely is. However, right now, Smart Animate will fade that shadow in as opposed to actually um, leaving it there and animating the shadow depth. It actually fades between the depth instead of animating the depth. So it, it doesn't give you the same effect, unfortunately. So that's why we are going to go here. And all we're going to do here is just change this color to black. So we're going to keep the text. And the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to hook it up to a variable. And we want that variable. Um, uh, that'll allow the button to expand uh, and the shadow to expand at the, at the same time. Okay. There's actually probably a better way to do this. But for the purposes of this, we'll, we'll leave it like this. Okay, then we're going to select those. We're going to hit Shift A to put it into Auto Layout. Reduce that to zero. And now we're going to select our button. And we'll call this button tutorial. We're going to select our button and we're going to go absolute position. Perfect. Done. That's set to hug our shadow is set to hug. And we'll actually open this up and we'll grab these two, or actually, no. So we've got that, we're going to go create a component, and then we'll grab our text, and we are going to add a content variable. All right, so now all you have to do is you have to add a new state called hover. We'll select our button, and we'll move it up, one, two, three, four, and over, one, two, three, four. And that is it. So now all we have to do is prototype it together while hovering. Smart animate. I'm going to do 150 because it's a smoother animation. And you should be done. You should be able to take that button. And have a pop out hover animation. There it is. Beautiful. And because it's all auto layout and we're using a variable, the variable spans to both of them and we can, the only, there you go, see? And now that works. So there it is, a pop-out button effect in Figma. Uh, the other option for the shadow you might be able to do is just set it to fill for the whole container, but um, because this one is absolute positioned, I don't think the container won't wrap it. So that's why we have the shadow with the text in it. Uh, so there you go. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you have questions, leave them in the comments. And um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my Patreon. Thank you very much. See you next time.